So when the Mezco line came out, they first came out with that Batman, I was kind of on the fence. Because I was like, well, are they just going to make this Batman? I don't really know if I need it. But then when they did the Mutant Gang Leader, and at the time, I didn't have a Mutant Gang Leader in my collection. I figured I should go ahead and pick up a couple of these Batmans just for I get this Mutant Gang Leader. Which was a good decision. And it's still a good decision. But on these toys, I've already seen a couple guys review this. And they're obviously getting them for free. Because they never really have anything bad to say about them. It's like, hey, I got this free toy, and now I'm going to give you a fake, honest review. Well, guess what? I didn't get this toy for free, and now you're finally going to get an honest review of it. Let's check them out. Alright, we're going to take a look at this box, and I normally don't give a shit about the box, but when you pay 80 bucks for a toy, I figure part of what you're paying for is that fancy box. And these boxes are cool because they come in a collector-friendly box, so you can open it, and then you can keep the box, and when you realize that you have way too many Captain Americas, you can attempt to sell it, and hopefully try to break even on the figure. Me... I haven't got that smart yet, so that's why I have three Captain Americas. And it's got a magnet flap on it. Cool artwork here. And then the figure's in there, and it's horribly displayed inside the box because he's a dark blue with a black background. So you pretty much can't even see him in the box. So let's get him out of the box. Alright, let's break down this Commander Rogers. And the difference between this review and the other review that you've probably already seen is that I actually spent 80 bucks on this and the guy that you watch right before me or after me he either got his for free or he's trying to get him for free so here's the real review on this thing first off he is a great toy and he's about six and a quarter inches tall which puts him almost perfectly in scale with Marvel Legends which is a good thing the bad thing is, is this is our third Captain America in less than a year now they're making a shitload of toys that we want but instead you just keep giving us Captain America. You couldn't give us like one cap a year, but no, you gotta give us three caps a year. So that sucks right there. Another thing, this head sculpt, great head sculpt. It's also the third time that you've given it to us. And nobody buys Commander Rogers unless they have Captain America. Like nobody's going, wait, I'm gonna pass on these really cool caps and go straight to this Commander Rogers. No, you're gonna buy one of these first and then you're going to buy one of these, and then when you get them together and see how much alike they are, you're going to kind of start to regret your $80 purchase. So the head sculpt reused, that definitely sucks. This harness was great the first two times that we used it, and they gave it to us again, which is okay because that's kind of what his harness looks like. And it sucks when you have to use a Marvel Legends as a comparison to see which is a better toy and which is more accurate. But actually, this time... Marvel, Le Marvel Legends actually hit it more on the spot than Mezco did. The belt, they gave us a new belt. Now you're going to go through the trouble of giving us a new belt and then not even get it right. See the straps on the belt? That's what the belt is supposed to look like. So you're going to give us a new belt and then it's a wrong belt. So that sucks. Not to mention there's no pouch on the thigh. I guess that was just too much to ask for $80. The thing that really pisses me off is these gloves, these hands. For one, you give us a shit ton of hands, just like you did on all the other ones. These are the same hands that you gave us before, but this time you decided to paint them brown. But this is what they're supposed to look like, with the fingers and the knuckles sticking out. But I guess that's just too much to ask for $80. I guess Marvel Legends can get it for $20, but you just can't. And at this time, he was actually using guns. Do you see any guns with this toy? I know Captain America with a gun actually seems kind of weird, but he did have guns at this time. The Mezco one, I guess they just forgot, or maybe that cost a little too much. You know, they got to get it underneath that $80 price point, so I can see why they didn't do it. The shield, the same exact shield. 
Like, what is that handle on, on there for? You got a magnet on the shield, and it comes with hands that can hold the shield. On a clear shield, that might be a good time to get rid of it because you can see right through it. And then you can see the handle, and it definitely takes away from the toy. But I know why they use this shield. It's because it's the same exact shield as the other two that they already gave it us. So why change it now? Let's just keep reusing the same shit. He does come with a brand new knife. I'll show you that in a minute. But no grenades, like we actually got a little bit less on this one than we had already got. Let's get a closer look at them. Okay, we got them up close now. So here's the shield. It comes with the same magnet deal that it had did before. There's actually a magnet right here on the arm. You can't even see it. It's hidden really well. If you pull up the sleeve, you see a little dot right there. And then on the sleeves, like they, they pull up, which doesn't really bother me, but it almost seems like they should have like tuck these in the gloves like kind of like they do the boot like the boot tucks in in here so it doesn't like pull up like this but i actually think it kind of looks cool when it pulls up like it looks more real to me and then they also have the same magnet on the back of the toy here where the harness is so but it's the same harness the same shield and look at this shield it's a clear shield like this thing is supposed to float it's not supposed to have handles it's not supposed to have any shit on there like that i do like the magnet but how does that handle look right now so for 80 dollars, i expect toy perfection and they definitely fell short of perfection on this one so we'll get rid of the shield and then here's the knife which sucks is because it kind of like gets in the way of the the strap here so it's, it just sits really high on his back, but they give you a, a brand new knife Did a great job on that tons of texture. They painted those little rivets on the handle the knife looks great fits right into his His a uh, holder here fits right in it kind of really sets up uh, kind of high Don't really care for that too much the belt. It's like it's like that's how my grandpa used to wear his belt Look how high up that thing is and like I try to push it down and it's like it's attached to the fabric or something. It just won't go down. So you got like this long deal here. Like like that's like, you, come on. I, I mean, I know the girls are starting to wear these high pants. They're like coming back in style. But this just does not work for me on that. And then they also have the same problem with this frog butt. Like this old man butt. Like, I mean you could give us something a little bit more curvy than that i mean i know it's a guy i know it's an action figure and i know it's weird that i'm talking about his butt but you can't admit that that doesn't look a little weird and and the outfit they did a great job on that they always do a great job on these outfits the articulation it's the same exact as every figure they have I'll go over a little bit. It's kind of got like this double pin, like the, the bottom of the neck turns, the top of the head turns, ball and socket shoulders, has an ab crunch, goes back, also turns at the waist, but you can only get so much out of that because the fabric, which is cool. I love it. I love the fabric because I love how it, hards, it hides the articulation. So that looks really cool. The elbows are great on this thing. It's the same wrist that everybody else is using. It can go any way you want it. And then on the on the thighs, like with those tall pants, like, does that look good? Like, you guys can't come up with something a little bit better than that for eighty dollars? Like that? Like, come on, dude. That that that's ridiculous. Like, at least make the belt where it can scoot down. So, like, look, you try to push this thing down, and and nothing. It it's just not going down. And then the knees great articulation there here's my favorite joint of all joints and will always be my favorite joint it's when they do boots and it turns right there because it hides really well it looks great and the boots on the pivot like you see there's no pin there no nothing that is articulation perfection right there so the boot it can go up and down it kind of swivels it can go pretty much anywhere you want it and not to mention the boots look great it's a new boot thank god so the toy, I mean, it's okay. It's far from perfection. It definitely has tons of flaws. And I don't know, man, for 80 bucks, I highly recommend if you can pass the urge to pass on this toy, pick up one of these other caps. It's definitely better and cooler than Cap Commander Rogers. Let me show you the rest of my Mezco collection. Okay, so here's my Mezco collection. I also threw a Wonder Woman in there because I didn't really know where else to put her. 
So here's a Commander Rogers, put the base on them. And these bases are second to none. These are the best stands anybody has ever made. I love these action figure stands. Now if they could just give us new accessories with every $80 toy, we'll be set. But here he is with the other caps. The Batman Mutant Gang Leader. I went ahead and bought two of those Batmans. That really didn't bother me because I just really felt like I needed two of them. And I got the two movie Batmans. Still waiting on that Superman. I think it's going to fill out nice with that Mafex Wonder Woman. But either way, here's my set. Sorry about bitching so much. Thanks for watching.